It is Monday morning. The snow has hit hard. Very hard, as a matter of fact. Things are looking quite rough outside, to say the least. But here we are in another episode of The Sims 3 Seasons. And current temperature currently is 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Mmm, that's nice and toasty outside. A and we are in for that big snowstorm that the news people kept calling for, so... Yeah. It would be kind of cool if they just told everybody to stay off the roads because the storm was so bad. But, that's not a thing. Would be kind of cool, but... Oh well, maybe next time. But still, very nice to say the least. So, she's got an award to pick up. I don't know if Manny will be able to go ahead and get it. <laughs> <coughs> ah, she didn't even find a case online. That's interesting to say the least. So, go ahead and collect your service award for being a great private eye. And I guess he's just going to sit there and do his thing on a computer. Delbert's birthday is coming up in roughly a day. Maybe we should go ahead and celebrate it early. But then again, I really don't have the simoleons to go ahead and do such a thing. Looks like Mandy went ahead and got her winter clothes on. Is that her winter clothes? I don't know. Holy crap, that's some pretty deep snow. Well, maybe not, but still. Yep. It is just a little bit rough outside, to say the least. At least City Hall's right around the corner, so at least she can go ahead and pick up her golden magnifying glass or whatever they would get for their first award. Is the actual festival open? Well, we ought to see. It's right over here anyway. Okay, I guess we can walk right over. Not that there's much going on. Ah, okay, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. And it's not even 8 o'clock yet, so... Alright, City Hall, go ahead and reward me for my service. <laughs> Greetings, Manny. It is my honor to reward you with the Investigator's Trophy of Honor in recognition of three cases solved. You are shaping up to be a fine investigator, and the citizens of Sunset Valley expect great things of you. Keep up the good work. Oh, okay, then there was a letter for Delbert. Oh, yep, that Monica, she keeps on pecking at the back door. What a troublemaker. We should go ahead and snoop on her and see what comes up. What is this? It is the most wonderful time of the year! The Winter Festival is here. The hot chocolate is flowing and the fire logs are glowing. And everyone's spread around with the cheer. Whether you skate or you shred, don't fail your head. Oh, don't fall on your head. <laughs> don't fail. Well, I failed there. <laughs> don't fall on your head. You can always improve next year. Oh, we got blackmail. We have blackmail. Lisa, Lisa what? didn't I just like bust her for blackmail or something before? No, and she's hired me to blackmail somebody. What? I'm not sure why, but the client doesn't always explain these things. I should check with Lisa to learn more about the case. Job experience and simoleons. Okay. Seeing how I only have 160 simoleons, I could use the money. Alright, we're yeah, going to follow this up. Alright, go report with Lisa and see what she wants. Sorry, you can flirt with your husband next time. You have a case to solve, or I guess you have trouble to cause. That's interesting to say the least. As for Delbert, what are you doing? No, you don't clean. It's why you got a maid. Let's go downstairs and invent something. Do something positive. Who knows? We might be able to make a new toy or something. Robot dog is nice, but at the same time, yeah, it's been done. This is the case of the black male in white heavy snow. And she's just chilling out here by her mailbox. Oh, she's waiting. She knew it was coming down to this. Observe Zorks. Mm -hmm. Why does it look like she's got a NASA coat? Zorka? Objective. Inspect mail and search through garbage at Lorena Steps home. Okay. Well. Is this the home? What? Is this the home? It's right down the road. Oh, wow. Seriously. Alright, let's break into the home. Why not? Let's see what's going on over here. And the heavy, heavy snow that the forecasters actually got right for a change. I don't know, they seem like they get very streaky. 
one day they're hot and the next day well they're ice cold like the snow all right here let's go ahead and ooh, take for evidence take it for evidence oh wait a minute don't, don't don't get out of there take something for evidence i suppose what are you doing? What is she doing? Well, okay. Whatever that was. Did she steal an item? She stole an item. What did she steal? I don't even see anything in here. Oh, who only knows? Who only knows? Alright, so let's go ahead. See what we can find in the mail, then we'll go ahead and uh, check around back in the garbage can. Maybe even snoop around in the house a little. Looks like she may have found a little bit of information. Didn't find any- oh, anything incriminating. Okay, well, maybe she didn't find anything, so that sucks. Squeaky clean. I'll just have to report back to Lisa and explain that if there's blackmail, it won't be found here. Hmm. Can we go into the house anyway and do a quick find? You never know what you may find inside. Okay, well, what is she doing? Okay, she's walking around. All right, how's Delbert doing? Well, he's apparently answering a phone. Scrap for toys. There we go. Collect and deliver 12 scrap to the warehouse to earn cash reward and have a relationship with the warehouse workers. Okay. Where's the warehouse? Wait a minute, is this the evil warehouse where all the the, wor the crime lords go? Well, I got 12 scrap. Well, I guess that'll be a thing. Go deliver the scrap. Yep, it's the same warehouse. One and the same. Alright, so let's get a better camera angle. This angle kind of stinks. Good job, mate. Continue to keep up the good work. Uh... Just must address the issue. Good enough. Hopefully they'll give me something good. Well, they'll give me simoleons and a bonus with the, uh, I guess the crime lord? Who knows? Okay, so he's going to be in there. I guess he's going to be in there for a while. He'll be delivering the scrap. How is she making out? Okay, she broke into the home. Anything going on inside the home? I wonder if it's possible to get caught when you're in there looting around someone's home. Oh no, she hadn't broken in yet. That's very nice. Looks like she broke in now. Let's go check the weather high definition. Another burly looking toy maker was pleased to accept the scrap delivery. Dubber and Manasso gently pat it down before receiving the reward and being pushed out the door. 30 simoleons. Increased relationship with the Outstanding Citizens Warehouse Court workers. Okay. Well, how thoughtful is that? After receiving his reward and being booted out of the warehouse, Dubber's going to go ahead and make him a snowman. Isn't that just lovely? Of course, he's going to make it right out back to the warehouse, so... They'll probably really care less, but whatever. Very nice little seasonal thing they have going on here. Very neat indeed. Can you put a magical hat on him and bring him to life? Chances are probably not, but it still would be pretty cool to say the least. Alright, what is... What in the world? She was supposed to report findings. And somehow she wound up for drinks. Delbert figured out how to make a classical snowman. And Mandy figured out where to get a local drink at. And yeah, he's not frosty, but Blunder. he's a Blunder snowman dark. to say the least. Uh, we don't want to destroy him. Alright, go back home and do something productive, I suppose. You need to report findings. Report findings. Okay, now she wants to make a snowman. What is it with these people and not wanting to do what they're supposed to? Unreal. Hmm. Not even quite sure if the uh, restaurant would like having a snowman. Oh, never mind. They're putting all snowmen up there. This is going to be the snowman cafe here we have. Very interesting to say the least. Oh, 
was a zeal. Okay, finally caught up with you. Let's turn this case in. Eh, so much for all that. Apparently she got 500 Somalians for it, so I guess... A, uh, whatever, right? Now she wants to go ahead and do low-level police work. Well, I guess that'll be a thing we'll have to take care of. So... I guess we'll go ahead and take you over to the police station. Maybe tomorrow we'll visit Central Park for the Winter Festival. In the meantime, go do some low-level police work that you want to do. We'll go ahead and get Delbert ready for another night of work. Then from there, well, we'll go to the festival. Well, it's a brand new day. It's Delbert's birthday, so he's about to move into the next stage of Simhood, which would be for him... I have no idea yet. Okay, he'll be adult. So he's currently a young adult, and he would move into sim, adult simhood. This is actually Mandy, so yeah, she's still a young adult. Okay, so we're going to have to get him a birthday cake. Either way, he's going to be aging today. He's going to become just a little bit older. And the snow continues to come down. Alright, so there's actually mail. Oh, never mind. It's a bill. I'll just go ahead and pay it. 196 simoleons. Holy cripe. That is rather steep. Alright, so while we're here getting stuff situated, might as well go ahead and buy him a birthday cake. Because that's the thing to do. Doesn't really have to be anything fancy. Delbert really was never a big people person, so let's go ahead and throw him something private. Okay, as soon as we find the actual birthday cake itself, we don't want a wedding cake. Simple birthday cake will do. And we have no place to put it. Go figure. Well, right there. Simple enough. Alright, we'll have you go ahead and blow out the candles. And apparently he's having a birthday party for it, so either way, there's going to be a birthday party. Okay. They always do the strangest things when stuff's about to happen. Now she's going to go get on a computer. Don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. At least when the time came, she was smart enough to realize it might be a good idea to get off the computer. <laughs> All right, so let's get this over with. Let's <laughs> turn you into an adult. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bonnie, Bonnie Wadu. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> oh wow! Woo, Beaver! Okay, don't party too hard there, buddy. I, it's gonna be real quick, and it's real private. So. <laughs> Maybe we should have thrown him an actual party. Oh well. Moving right on up. Delbert is now fully matured, at least some of the time, adult. Who really need to think about establishing himself in this career and family while life while still being in time. Okay. Didn't see too much of a change. Delbert Jameson has finally broken free of the yoke of childhood. Okay. A midlife crisis? Yeah! Bonnie Badu! What is he having a midlife crisis about? Unreal. Six days for a midlife crisis? Yeah, really. He was getting a student discount at the movies and his looks. What in the heck? Midlife crisis wishes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Skate on a pond with me. Okay, well, yeah, we can go ahead and skate on a pond. Okay, so you're dealing with a midlife crisis, aren't we all? First and foremost, let's go make a snow angel. Okay, make snow angel. Why not? She can sit there and eat her breakfast. Ain't worried about her. Let's go. No, we don't need to learn about sending gifts online. It's not something we're into just yet. Sometimes when Sims trans transition into adulthood, they aren't ready to face the responsibility of adulthood and become anxious to recapture their youth. Maybe we should learn a little bit about midlife crisis while he makes his snow angel. Okay, face with the responsibility of adult. Yeah. Earn extra lifetime happiness points as they enter the later stages in their life. Ah, oh, okay, so he'll have a little red background to say midlife crisis wish. Simple enough. 
Whoa, unlike normal wishes, once a midlife crisis wish is promised to a sim, it cannot be canceled. These wishes will last until they are fulfilled or the midlife crisis ends. Ooh. If a sim successfully completes their crisis, they will be rewarded with bonus lifetime happiness and a positive mood outlet based on how many... Okay. Totally, totally got it. There's no potential for avoiding midlife crisis wishes. <laughs> oh, wow. So, in other words, if we don't get any of them, there's a chance he may have a meltdown. Very interesting, to say the least. Well, at least he can go ahead and enjoy the snow while he can. What the heck is going on here? Yeah, go ahead and put, put away the leftovers. Why not? Still haven't got no midlife price wishes. Okay, well, whatever. Let's go ahead to the actual festival and enjoy the winter festival. Snowflake festival. The whatever festival.